Do you want your quest be saber to look like this, uh, what's on the screen right now? After you follow this tutorial, it will look just like that, and you can enjoy some custom songs and beautiful ones also. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to sidequestvr.com and download the advanced installer here. Once it finished downloading, click it. Next, install, click finish. You want to connect your headset to SideQuest right here. You will have to enable developer mode and allow access from, from your computer into your headset. Right now, this is all we have to do for SideQuest. The next thing you want to do is go to this website right here. I'll have a link in the description below and we're modding Quest VMVF. So you want to click details for the Quest version under version. You want to download 1.25.1. You have to log into Oculus.com to do this. You click download, click this link right here and log in. After you do that, go back to this website, click download. Next thing you want to do is go to side quest, go to the waffle right here, saber, click uninstall app, done. We go install apk file from your computer, go to your download folder where it should be, click vsaber.apk. After it's installed, you want to go to back home, then search games, search bmvf, click that. I'm gonna click download app sideload. Then I'll download it right here. And that's all you need to do on side quest. Now let's get straight into the headset. And you want to go up to all right here. Go to unknown sources, BMVF. Just say your version BSaber 1.25.1 is supported by BMVF. You want to click get started, uninstall BSaber, click OK, click patch Beat Saber. Then when it's done, you click install modded Beat Saber. Say, oh, say for your security, your phone's not allowed to install on from the source. Click settings, click allow from the source. Go back, press install modded Beat Saber again. Then you want to click install. So, and when you're installing Beat Saber, you make it a message. That is, that says package installer is not responding. Do not press close, it will mess up your install. You will also get a message that says unknown sources app installed. Do not press restore or you're gonna have to redo this whole process. Don't press open once you're done. Click the done button. You wanna go back into BMVF after it's complete. But what I recommend doing before you do this is go to browser, go to Discord, make sure to sign into your account. After you log into Discord, you want to join B Saber, the B Saber Modern Group Discord. I'll put a link to that in the description. And you want to go to Quest Mods. Dot one two five. Dot one. Find the mods that I am going to recommend to make the game look awesome. First thing you would want to do is download Beat Leader. Install Beat Together, which is right here. Then you want to install Multiplayer Core. And you also, if you are a content creator like me, you want to would want to download the Replay mod. Then another mod you want to download would be Chroma and Needle Extensions. Another mod I highly, highly, highly recommend you download is Cosmetics. Because whackers are savers, nose are nose, obviously, and boxes are the walls. So this will enable you to have custom sabers, <laughs> custom savers, notes, and walls on your Beat Saber game. This is a really good mod. Please download it. If you don't, then why are you modding Beat Saber? Another mod I highly recommend is to download any tweaks for B Saber. This will enable you to play with Bloom, Mirror Effects, Smoke, all those good PC stuff. So you want to be very careful when opening B Saber every time. So when you open B Saber, you want to click Open. Then this will say Update Available. Click Update Later. Then this will say Restore App. Make sure to click Open App. Not restore because you click restore, you have to redo everything. Click allow permissions. So, when you're here, more songs. This is what I highly recommend. This will allow you to download mods inside BSaber instead of doing it through BMBF. Change your mod settings. You can do Quest UI, any tweaks, Chroma Replay, all this good stuff. For any tweaks, you can click graphics presets. But usually, I do graphics, I put my refresh rate to 120 when I have that enabled. Bloom quality to high, resolution um, 1 so it doesn't lag. Your 
medium, PS counter on. See, I have bloom enabled, and this is new look extensions in here, right here. This is really nice. This is a really nice touch. And after that, you're all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it enabled you to be able to play Mono Beats Hero on your quest. And have a nice day.